to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about reasons why you need to have a notebook, journal, or something to keep track of your emergency supplies and some other things. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to hurricane season 2020 and how to prepare for a hurricane or a natural disaster you could say, especially when it comes to having a notebook or a journal or something that you can keep track of all types of different situations and different things in your um, notepad journal, whatever it is you choose to use. Now, one of the main reasons why you may want to do this is, is because then it's a very easy to keep track of uh, things that has to be done in an emergency situation. Um, it can also help you to uh, keep organized in what you do have for your emergency situation. Um, in your journal or your notepads, um, you can also make sure that you have all emergency type contact phone numbers and everything in there. Uh, the reason I say that is, yes, everybody has your cell phones nowadays. If your cell phone is dead, it's useless. If your cell phone got wet, you dropped it in water because you had to wade through water or anything like that, it is useless. That's why I would really put out there to everybody to go online. You can get these right on Amazon. It's right in the rain notepad. And you can get a pencil that goes with it. And once you write into this notepad, okay, it doesn't matter if this gets wet or anything else. It will not smear. It will not uh, distort. Um, you can actually take your pen in the pouring down rain and write on here and it will write and it will look just like you wrote it in a regular notepad. Difference being is, is the material that it is made out of will last through being wet. And if you're talking a hurricane situation, if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about it. You have to worry about, say, your journal or, say, even, you know, your cheap little 98-cent notepad from Walmart. You know, this gets wet, you write in it with a pencil or a pen, and you're not going to be able to read. It's just not going to happen. But some of the things that you want to make sure that you have written, written down into these items would be as follows. You would want a list of emergency contact, your friends and family, um, especially close to where you live. Um, you would want to also have written down all your family members that are traveling with you. You never know what may happen. Um, make sure that you know you have everything written in there, um, all the important information. Um, you want to make sure that if people have prescriptions, if you have older people that are traveling with you or even you or your kids, um, make sure that you know what type of uh, prescriptions they take, the dosage, and where you get your prescriptions filled with that information also as far as CVS with a phone number and an address. You also want to make sure that you have written in here um, your emergency uh, route planned out and the way that you're going to travel. And I have covered that under another video on, you know, having something um, with your navigation, making sure that you have more than one route. Have it written out 
So that's something that's easy to follow just on the chance that either one, wherever you are, you don't have cell service. Two, cell service is down. Three, your phone is dead. Um, four, you can't connect to the server that you need to get to because of the storm or something that is uh, supplying that with say the satellite information that goes into GPS and stuff is either down because of the storm or it is being blocked. For you that have like um, Dish TV and that type of thing, you do understand uh, when a bad storm or something comes through, sometimes you get like an early warning because uh, I know with my brother-in-law, um, if it's a bad storm coming through, all of a sudden the TV goes out right before the storm hits. So you get a little bit of lag there. Um, most GPS is run off of satellites. You also want to make sure that when you do write out all your information and stuff, um, I would suggest also to uh, take either pictures copies, whatever else, and send it to either your parents. Um, if your kids are older, send them to your kids. Um, this way here, uh, somebody has a copy of it just on the chance if you lost it or um, if something happened and they have that information. Um, another good reason why you want to keep track of some of this stuff is um, you can put your hurricane um, checklist and you can write down what you have in your hurricane preparedness kit. Now here coming within another um, probably less than a month because hurricane season starts June 1st and today we is April 17th. So in less than a month, all of a sudden, you're gonna start hearing on the TV, uh, all the news people and everything, they're gonna start pushing, for us that live in hurricane areas, they're gonna start pushing um, hurricane preparedness. It'll be in the paper, it'll be on the radio, it'll be on the TV, and that's why I'm trying to get these videos out here now so people can look at these, and I'm trying to cover as much information as I possibly can uh, to help you out with this because I got to give you a general list that the federal government says that you need to have and you need more than what they say so um, but you can keep track of everything that you have from batteries flashlights um, if some way to charge uh, you know generators solar panels when you get into uh, your food what kind of food, your canned goods and everything else and to make sure that you know you have all that written down and you store it inside. Um, you can get a tote, um, if you have an empty shelf, uh, those type of things, but you'll have everything logged right into your notebook so that you can flip it open and say, okay, I've got X amount of batteries, I may need to pick up maybe one more just to be on the safe side or, you know, uh, extra uh, cereal or extra canned goods. You, you see where I'm going with this. This way you have a log of what you have that you already have put up and store it in a proper place. Um, having a notebook or a journal or something like that that you keep track of all this stuff once you do it once, if you live in the same area year after year, if you own your house or you rent and you've been living there for, this will carry over from one year to the next. The only thing that may change would be where you're going to be going. And that's why I say that you want to make sure that you, know, you have more than one route from point A to point B. Um, but once you put the time and effort in, then it's pretty much a done deal. You just have to make sure you stay on top of it. So if you do have a hurricane, you use some of your hurricane supplies and everything else, well, it's all listed in here. 
So you know after hurricane season and everything, you can sit there and you can start putting those items back into your hurricane uh, tote, pack, whatever it is, you know, cupboard, whatever it is you use, closet, you know, and it's all done. So you just really have to spend the time to do it once and then you just have to make slight adjustments, you know, over the years. So it's like a one-time deal, but then you have it forever. Now, if you move and everything else, a lot of your things will still stay the same, but your roots will change and maybe your point A to point B, whoever your point B is uh, for your safe haven, um, that may change, but the rest of it will all stay the same. So I just wanted to bring this out and just tell you what the importance of having a notebook journal or something like that, what the benefit is. Now these right in the rain, um, little notepads and stuff, you can get them on Amazon. They sell them in a four pack. They do run um, between 15 and 25 bucks, but they're well worth it. I have them um, and you know, I have one in each backpack. Um, you know, these you can pick up for 98 cents, you know, at Walmart. You know, everybody knows that when you're buying school supplies. My journal, I picked this journal up online. Um, it does have a leather back. Um, um, I paid, I think, $17.95 for it. It's a really nice journal. It's all leather. It opens right up. I have my pen in here. You can write, you know, it's all, it's all what you want. You just need to have something. So at that point, you know, everything is in one area and it just makes your life a lot simpler. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I thank you for liking my channel. I thank you for everything that you do for my channel, for watching my videos. And thank you for hitting subscribe, hit that little bell, click share. And until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.